Hey guys, what's up? This is the British Fanboy here, and uh, I've got a Call of Duty 4 gameplay for you guys today. This is a bloody good one, actually. I really like this one. I got it not long ago. It was maybe half an hour ago, something like that, and I went on Call of Duty 4 purely so I could try to get a good game, and well, you know, the first game I get is a bloody good one, so I was very happy with that. And um, in terms of the last video I posted up and things, which was also on a Call of Duty 4 gameplay, I asked people, would they like to see a Call of Duty 4 gameplay, you know, like an actual let's play kind of thing, a live let's play. And some people said things like, I also got emails on this, personal messages and stuff on over PSN, etc. Saying, why don't you do a game which is more kind of campaign orientated? Because the thing is that, the reason I chose Call of Duty 4 is because it's not that long, you know, it's not a long gameplay to play, face it, you know. And also, everybody can, everyone kind of relates to it in a way, so I can talk about levels without spoilers and stuff, because pretty much everybody who watches commentaries probably has Call of Duty 4 and has probably completed Call of Duty 4. So I have no qualms whatsoever about spoiling the game for anyone for that reason. And another really good one to do would be something like Uncharted 2 or something like that. I don't have Uncharted 1 anymore, unfortunately. But again, with Uncharted 2, it's really, really long. <laughs> you know, it's like a 10, 11 hour game. So, um... If I, I'll probably, depending on how well the Call of Duty 4 one goes, I may do an Uncharted 2 one after that. Because, you know, actually work out how to actually make the Let's Play videos and stuff like that. How much effort it is, etc. And then if it all goes well, you know, get a lot of views from it and you guys enjoy it and whatnot, then maybe after that I'll bring something like an Uncharted 2 Let's Play or whatever. But until then, you know, I'm going to do the Call of Duty 4 one first. I'm still waiting on some RCA splitters to arrive, so... When they arrive, I'll be able to bring this Let's Play, and then you guys can be like, "Wow, wow!" And uh, yeah, you'll you'll be exactly like that. I guarantee it. Trust me, because I'll also throw in free pictures of boobies at the end of every video. And um, okay, maybe I won't do that. Oh, I don't know. No, I won't. I won't. And um, so yeah, this gameplay it was a Call of Duty 4 gameplay, like I've already said, it was a domination gameplay, and I'm using my Ranger pack, which is the M16. I think it's something like Deep Impact, and um, I took off Bandolier, I've got three frag grenades, and um, and the middle one. I don't remember what the middle perk was. And uh, something which I've noticed about Call of Duty 4 is that there was a lot of people just kind of going around getting, you know, everyone using the M40 and stuff like that. And I've mentioned this before, like, people, if you're going to play the game, don't just play the game looking for fucking montage clips, you stupid inbred retard. Play the game properly. Because, yeah, you know, I got a really good score in this game and stuff like that, yeah? Is that just because I'm, you know, made of epic win source, you know? Am I made of awesomeness? Or was everyone just using a shit gun? Or not a very effective gun, I should say. I don't know. I don't know, guys. That's just what happens with it and stuff. And something which I also like to mention in this is that I got shit loads of kill streaks and stuff. And I think that's... It felt really strange getting so many kill streaks in this game. And I think that's purely because... Since playing things like Black Ops and stuff like that, when a lot of my kill streaks are like, you know, 9s and 11s and stuff like that, you know, getting the kill streaks which are like 3, 5, and 7, suddenly all of a sudden I feel a lot more awesome, you know. Not that I'm trying to sound arrogant or whatever, but it just felt really good to get loads of kill streaks and stuff like that. This was a very good game overall. I don't remember the actual score, but uh, never mind. Oh, and good news, guys. Good news. Basically, I've just been in a situation, you know, with student finance and stuff, waiting for my student loan and things, and it's finally getting to the stage where it looks like I may be getting the money within the next week. Because there was something which is blocked, now it's approved, and hopefully it'll be very, very soon, which will mean new PC. Because I do need a new PC for my studies, and the thing is that, you know, I've lived without my first student loan for you know, maybe four months now, something like that. So therefore, the first student loan is just going to go get myself something nice. I'll be living off the second student loan like every other student in the country will be. And that, there was one fucking inbred at one point, yeah. He left a comment or something. It might have been on this channel or my other channel, just saying how students are just stealing tax money and stuff like that. Fuck you, cunt. Are you saying people shouldn't actually, you know, go to education and stuff like that? Because that's the only way. That's the only way. Yeah? Gotta get loans and stuff. How, what would happen if everybody just stopped going to university because they couldn't afford it? And that guy who just got the double kill with the M40 is probably feeling very proud of himself. But, you know, and look at it this way, you know, save taking tax or whatever, you know, taxpayers' money. You've got to pay it back, idiots. Uh.
I tell you, there are some people in this world who are just too, so retarded they shouldn't be allowed access to the internet where they've got that kind of anonymity to just post whatever they want, you know? Because they just post retarded things or racism or sometimes a bit of both, you know? Some retarded racism, you know? Some people may say that people from Alaska should stop running around in skirts and, you know, cover themselves in war paint. That would be a retarded thing to say because not only is it not true, but it would just be racist. Hmm. Yeah. I could say something very stupid like... Turd. <laughs> I should have thought a bit more about that little speech there. I apologise for being so stupid. Oh yeah, something else which is also good to mention is that on the last commentary I said I might go to the cinema to watch The King's Speech. I did go in the end and that film was a very, very good film, The King's Speech. I was talking to some people on Skype, I was talking to Knees and um, I think I was talking to Bosnian about it as well. And they didn't know what the King's Speech was. So I'm like, is it released in the US? It wouldn't surprise me if it's not released in the US because it's about the King of England and World War II and stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if it was only released in England or Britain, I should say. But um, yeah, it got lots of golden. It was nominated for lots and lots of Golden Globe awards, and Colin Firth finally won a Golden Globe for Best Actor. About bloody time, you know, because whilst I haven't seen him in many films, I know he's very good and he's been nominated so many times, but he's never actually won it, but now he finally has. Which is very good. Yours had the likes of Jeffrey Rush, who was in Pirates of the Caribbean. You've got um, Michael Gambon was in it at one point for a short while. You've got what's his name, the guy who was in Memento. What is his name? He was also in Hurt Locker and he got blown up at the beginning. No, that's not a spoiler. Guy Pierce. There we go. That's his name. He was in it and uh, really, really good film. If you get the chance to go see The King's Speech, definitely go see it. It's not an action-packed film or anything like that, you know, it's set during World War II. Don't think you're going to see lots of planes bombing and stuff like that, no. It's purely talking and about characters' relationships and stuff. And it was superb. It really, really was. But also some funny things, like you see Queen Elizabeth when she's a child and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, she's queen now. But, um, that's just the way it happens, I suppose. Not the monarchy is that important nowadays and stuff. As far as I understand, like, people may be wondering this as well, like, people in America and stuff, saying, why does England still have a king and queen and stuff like that? Well, we don't have a king, we've got a queen. And the reason that they're kind of there, they don't really have any power. But they are kind of important in a way, so to speak. The government, the UK government, controls everything. Okay, they control it all. But the thing is that the queen does have some certain things that she can do, like, if the government wants to pass a new law. They want to pass a new law. That she has to give her blessing. If she says no, you can't pass our law, then it won't get passed. It's not allowed. It's against the rules. And uh, there are some things that I think the Queen can take any land she wants because it's technically hers in a way. Um, you're not allowed to kill deer because they belong to the Queen. You're not allowed to kill swan because they belong to the Queen. So if you went to a restaurant and you had some deer and swan burger, then you know you should definitely report that place to the police because they're not allowed to do that. No, sir, they are not. And uh, this has been quite a few random topics in this commentary anyway. Hmm. Well, you know, random topics are good, I suppose. Alright, so there we go, that's the end of the game. I think it's 44 and 5, I think. I can't really read it because the monitor's too small. Hopefully I'll be able to bring, you know, the Let's Play soon. I've just got to wait for the splitter so I can record the audio live. And, uh, yeah, see you around, guys. British fanboy. Um. Subscribe.